So, Dust Storms on Juna. Kind of an odd title for a video whose intro showed nothing but the launch pad on Kerbin, but we'll get to that in due course at the end of the video. But guys, how are you? It's been a very, very long time since I made a last video. Over a week, I, yeah, I seem to believe. And I kind of want to make this video just as kind of an update as to what's going on with the channel, what's going to be going on over the next week or so, and uh, how you guys can get involved with it. First things first, the subscriber space station. I know a lot of you are highly anticipating that, and uh, it's still coming, don't worry. All the modules that have been submitted thus far have now been implemented into my save. I've checked them all out, they all seem to work fine. All of them that have been submitted so far have been incorporated into the game. And the next episode should be up sometime in the next week or so, if everything goes to plan. Um, what I'm probably going to do is launch about, well multiple modules per episode um, I'll probably show the launch and then I'll probably show the run I'll probably show the actual docking itself I'll probably cut out the rendezvous because that can sometimes take a long time unless something particularly hilarious happens along the way so I definitely stay tuned for that I'm very very excited to actually start doing it and um, I really can't wait to see um, how you guys' modules look in orbit because from what I've seen in the VAB and space, space plane hangar they look amazing so far um, so hopefully uh, they look just as good on on the station because I am very very much looking forward to actually seeing them docked to the core module that I put up in the first episode. Secondly, the mission you're seeing in the background. I've kind of lost my confidence with actually going into planetary with Kerbal Space Program at the moment. I think it's just the amount of mods that I have installed coupled with the fact that I'm recording makes everything bug out so bad. And so it's kind of put me off doing long duration missions, it's why Shamrock Dawn's been delayed so much recently. Um, I'm kind of waiting for 1.1 to continue with that now just so that I've got the more, more performance and everything. But because of one bug or another and everything, it does seem to make my missions go wrong. Uh, that's not that's due in part mostly to the game and also mostly to my lack of skill with this game. But this mission, I started out thinking, you know what, screw it, I want to get a good mission where it actually goes right, so I'll use MechJeb. You can see the module uh, window up in the top left hand corner there, um, when I was trying to actually use it to get something. Um, but in the end, I decided not to, because, well, it was just too complicated, the manoeuvre, it, pla it started planning for me. So I get, I get out of Juno's sphere, uh, of Kerbin's sphere of influence even, and uh, I'm on my way to Juno, I was going to set a course, but then I realised that it would be more more efficient if I did the um, the approach manually compared to what the uh, MechJeb was providing. As you can see here, I'm starting to engage and I realise, wait, this is really inefficient. So I decide to take over manual control and uh, get the craft into Juna orbit and descending onto Juna uh, manually. And it actually goes, for once with one of my missions, pretty much to plan. Now, I was not expecting this, bearing in mind this was the first, like, roll out of this mission, but I'm very, very pleased with how it went, and um, it, it's it's just brilliant, and I may use this rover um, for more exploration, more of an exploration type of video in the future. Um, but this does, of course, tick off Juna as one of the planets I need to land on this year. That's now Eve and Juna ticked off. Um, we still have a couple more to go. We've ob obviously uh, landed on the moon, and uh, I think we've still got Mimus to go, although we have done a flyby. So we've still got a few loads more planets to go, but we've still got lots of time in the year to do that, thankfully. So hopefully in the future, I will be able to complete that goal. In actual KSP news, 1.1 is getting very, very close now. The pre-release has now gone uh, live and some of the uh, very high-profile YouTubers such as Scott Manley are now making videos. Uh, there's one live on Scott Manley's channel which I'll link in the description down below that you can go and watch. And according to some reports, we may be getting an open beta um, for those of us who have KSP on Steam uh, to actually try out 1.1 in order to stress test the engine in the coming days I think which is going to be amazing if these reports are true. Um, I'm yet to verify them though so don't quote me on that until I actually have it confirmed. And finally, tomorrow, which is going to be March the 28th, 2016, I will be visiting the National Space Centre in Leicester. It's, I think, one of the number one sources for space and stuff like that in the UK. Uh, it's got all different awesome things in there, and I'm going to be vlogging there. So if there's anything that you guys want to uh, want to see me do, uh, want to see me try out, that if you've been there before, if you're going, let me know in the comments section down below, because I'd like to meet some of you guys if by any chance 
places you guys might be going or um, if there's anything if you've been before and you want to see me try out or look at or talk about such as I know they have one of the prototypes for one of the early Gemini paragliders there uh, which is definitely very very cool uh, they also have the only Soyuz capsule in Western Europe I believe which is also very very awesome so I'll try and get some shots of those and talk about them a little bit while I'm there and put it together in a video which will come out in the coming weeks for you guys but you can see here now we're coming up on Juna and uh, we're beginning our descent I think we just dipped inside the atmosphere here so I was trying to aero break just a little bit it was only a little bit inside the atmosphere um, but I was just uh, trying to slow us down tiny tiny bits uh, save a bit of fuel not that I really needed to obviously we had tons of fuel in this stage um, we actually had a stage that was supposed to be transfer a transfer stage uh, that we never actually ended up using which is uh, very very nice it's always nice to have a bit of extra delta v on a mission but yes as we uh, begin to descend here and start our descent which actually went pretty well those are pretty much the updates that have been going on with the channel over the past couple of a couple of days about a week or so and what's going to be coming in the next couple of days or so um i'm sorry once again that i didn't upload in such a long time it has been the last week of college and everything so i have sort of been concentrating on that and also i wanted to take a rest because well it, i haven't had a rest in a very very long time and so i just wanted to sort of relax take it easy and uh, just just chill for a couple of days, really. Play KSP, started playing a bit more of career mode. I wasn't playing uh, full career. I prefer science mode, if I'm honest. That's probably because I'm a filthy casual, and you can say I'm a filthy casual in the comments down below. Because I'll be the first to admit that I'm terrible at this game, and I just kind of prefer science mode, to be honest. It's uh, it's how I remember um, career mode uh, back in 2.2, 3.5. 2 and uh, I just find that mode just genuinely more enjoyable in career mode. There's less stuff to actually micromanage and everything. It's not for everyone, I, I will admit that, but um, it is very, very cool. Also, the news about 1.1 is very, very good as well. I'm very much looking forward to actually seeing uh, the one, the performance enhancements, and I'm considering even maybe changing my graphical uh, texture pack once everything's updated to something that looks even more realistic. So I hope you guys will enjoy that as we finally start to descend safely under parachutes to the surface of Juno with our rover in our little garage. It looks absolutely beautiful as we crash. Lol. So, as I end the video, I ask once again, why the title Sandstorms on Juno? Well, after I landed this craft and started driving it around just a little bit just to sort of see how it handles, these beautiful sandstorms lay up um, just as the sun was rising and it was just beautiful. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you guys watch that now. So guys, thanks very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the updates that I gave in this video. Uh, do remember to leave a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. This is Brad signing off and as always, peace out.